I'm Ben Rivers, and I'm from Wichita, Kansas. So it's 6 p.m., and I'm contemplating my life choices on the couch with a glass of rosé, and my mom is calling. And you always answer when your mama calls. My 14-year-old nephew, Oliver, has attempted suicide. And this will be the first of three attempts that Oliver makes on his life. And Oliver is not alone. The American Academy of Pediatrics reports that 50.8% of transmasculine adolescents, like Oliver, have attempted suicide. Half, half of these transgender children. So Oliver was born Olivia, but instead of being himself, he wrapped himself in pleasing everyone, being their precious little girl. We found in Oliver's journals that having to pretend made him feel isolated and judged and paralyzed by the notion that his Christian family and community would stop loving him, or worse. And yes, using the girls' bathroom felt weird to him, but it was having to be a girl gymnast girl wrapping paper at his birthday, pink tennis shoes, and being a girl in gender-separated activities that crushed his soul. How do we include the Olivers in the destiny of America? It starts local. Teachers, let's make our classrooms the safe space where we celebrate our authentic selves. Don't separate by gender. Highlight the important contributions made to our nation by members of the LGBTWQIAAP community. Delegates, embrace the uniqueness in each of you. Express your gender, or lack thereof, that you were meant to be and invite that person, because gender doesn't matter, over to your lunch table. Get to know them. They are Oliver, and they are you. Parents, love the Olivers around you, even if they're not your own. There is a grieving process for the loss of who you thought they would be. But love who they are and be nosy, don't let them hide. Because the destiny of Oliver is the destiny of this nation. Thank you.